Hey, yeah, folks. Let me know if there's anybody watching. Just see if we get you set up. Just give it a wee minute. Okay, so we'll get started anyway. And hopefully you will join on. More you will join on. So, sitting on the seat. Again, just to start off, just try and get a wee nice relaxation into the mind and body. So try and make sure that the feet are grounded onto the mat. And if your legs aren't getting down onto the mat, try and get a wee block or a book, a book of some description and put the feet onto the book or the block or whatever if you have. So a wee book, thick book, an old telephone directory or something like that there, even a wee box or something, a wee something, so that you can get the feet grounded. Relaxing the legs, relaxing the hands, just keeping the pans of hands on to the knees to start off. Lift and roll the shoulder blades down the back and just lift in the chest. Try and open up the collarbones, open up the heart and just rest the face, completely rest the mind, focus on the breath. So breathing in and breathing out, just feeling that relaxation of the face, softening every muscle in the face, trying to relax the forehead, the eyebrows, the cheeks and the jaw. Just completely closing off your day, forgetting about everything going on in your head, forgetting about everything that has happened this morning, it's going to happen today, just let it all go, let it all relax. Really just feeling that you're relaxing the mind as well as the body. Just trying to get the posture of the body right. Feeling that breath coming in and out of the nose. Try and relax the face, relax that jaw completely. So really just slowing everything down, slowing down the breath, slowing down the thoughts. Try and make sure you're making a wee bit of space between the top teeth and the bottom teeth to relax the jaw. Just letting this part of the body all relax. Really feeling that all relaxing out. A lot of times we tense that all up. So just let that relax out. Deep breath in and out of the body, settling the mind. Try and lengthen the breath a wee bit more, taking the breath right into the belly, feeling the belly lifting away from the spine. And then exhaling that breath completely out. Great inhalation. Feel that you're really relaxing the shoulders, taking the shoulders away down from the ears to relax them out. Feeling the elbows heavy, pulling down towards the ground. Feeling that you're completely softening the whole 
upper shoulder and neck area. Feeling that you're getting that breath on and out. Just getting yourself centered and prepared for the class. Getting that all settled out. He's taking the gaze forward in, really good, and lifting. I'm just taking a big roll of the shoulders now, just rolling them right back, and then rolling them forward. Just really loosening out the shoulders, all them stresses and strains out of you. Really good, and then taking the arms up, right up in front, trying to get them level with the shoulders, linking the fingers, and just pushing the knuckles away, dropping the head down, just stretching into the upper back, upper shoulder and neck, really trying to get the arms up level with the shoulders and trying to get the ears down level with the bicep, breathing and breathing out, feeling that big stretch in the upper body, upper chest, upper body, upper back, breathing and breathing out, and then inhale, lifting the head right up again, crown the head up towards the ceiling, taking the elbows wide now, just, or the arms wide, taking them right out, stretching them right back, really opening up the front of the chest. Lift the gaze up towards the ceiling, stretch the front of the throat. Breathe in, breathe out, keep the breath flowing, try not to hold the breath. Inhale, exhale. And then exhale, coming back down again, taking that, the link in the fingers again, really good. Taking the knuckles way forward, drop the head way down, try and keep the back on to the back of the chair, but taking the shoulders way off, really feeling that you're pulling the shoulder blades apart. Breathing and breathing out nice and slow with the breath. And then inhale, lifted it right up again, really good. This time turning the palms, the hands to the front, keeping the gaze along or towards the knuckles and follow the knuckles right up. Taking the head and chest right up, really locking out the arms as best you can. And then Really taking the head forward so that the arms are in line with the ears. Breathing in, breathing out. Big stretch into the side body. Inhaling and exhaling, keeping those feet nice and grounded, keeping the lift in the chest. And try and push the lower back into the ground so that you're not pushing the belly away out. Try and really stretch the side runs. Locking out the arms. Breathing in, breathing out. And then exhale, dropping them down nice and easy. Really good. Back the hands down onto the, the thighs now and just let them roll the shoulders again, get my wheel just in it, just rest the arms, rest the legs, and rest the face, get a wee breath and big strong stretches under the shoulders there. Just closing the eyes, just slowing it all down, seeing it nice and slow. Breathing in, breathing out. And inhale, lifting it up again, coming right up, taking the arms right out. Same thing again, taking the hands and hands right down, the slight difference in the stretch just to get the opening into the shoulders. Inhale, lift the arms right up towards the ceiling again, big, big stretch in the front body, really feeling it stretching it. Now pull the belly button in, really push that lower back into the back of the chair. Drop the hands down onto the crown of your head and taking the elbows really wide, really taking them wide, taking them right back towards the back wall, really working those shoulders. Breathing in, breathing out. Back of hands onto the top of the head. Breathing in, breathing out. Inhale, exhale. Try and keep the face nice and relaxed. Try and keep the breath flowing. Breathing in, breathing out. And then exhale, stretch it away again, right up. And then letting go of the hands, coming right down to the side, coming way, way down to the side, really good. Breathing in, breathing out. Now see if you can take hold of the side of the chair. 
really press them, press it down and get a good grip of the chair and get a big opening in the chest. Drop the shoulder blades down, open and right up in the chest. Breathe it up, breathe it out. Big, big stretch here, really opening it up. Now try and push the tailbone down towards the heel or towards the seat and really pull in the hands and against it, lock out the arms, stretch the front body. Inhale, take the crown of head up towards the ceiling. Breathe in, breathe out. You get a good grip at the bottom of the chair. If you can, if not, just keep the hands down low. So if you're pushing the fingertips into the ground, but really take it whole. Just stretch those arms, stretch the shoulders, stretch into the upper back. Breathing in, breathing out. And then exhale, coming right up again, really good. Turning the hands down onto the legs, lift the chest, lift the heart. Breathing in, breathing out. Have a wee rest here. Lifting the shoulders round again, roll it all out, giving them a nice rolling out, just loosening them all out, giving them a nice wee stretch. Breathe in, breathe out. This time we're going to open up the upper shoulder, we're going to take that right arm right up, lengthen it right up, take hold of the tricep, take it right across the front of the body. Really work on the mobility of these shoulders, stretching them all out and taking the gaze right over to the right. Pull that elbow right in towards the front body, stretch right into the tricep. Breathe in up the, and down upper shoulder. Breathe in and breathe out. And then exhale, drop it down. Hand onto the knee, give it a wee shrug it out. Other leg, another arm coming right up. Take it right across the chest. Take hold of the tricep. Turn the neck and head right over. Really getting these shoulders all prepared for the class later. Breathe in and breathe out. Get them all nice and listened out. Really open up the chest, open up the heart. Breathe in and breathe it out. And exhale back at the centre, drop the hands down, really good. This time lift up the right hand, stretch it right up to the ceiling and take it to the left eye, take it right onto the left eye. Another wee, or get a wee spinal twist this time. Lift up in that left arm, take it right up and round, take it right onto the back of the chair if you can. Press the hand onto the thigh to turn the upper body right around. So try and really lift the crown of the head up towards the ceiling and really turn in that neck and head right over that left shoulder. Breathe in, breathe out. Turn on the belly button, turn on the lower chest, turn on the upper chest right round to get that big twist on the spine. Twil spinal twists are really good for the body, really good for your inner organs, really good for your spine, really good for the back. Get the blood flowing around, breathing in, breathing out. And then inhale back up at the centre, coming right back up, both knees. Hands onto the knees, get yourself nice and grounded onto the sitting bones to make sure that you're nice and neutral to start off. Really good. Inhale and then exhale and lift up at that left arm, stretch it right up, get a big stretch from the sitting bone right up to the fingertip and then take it to the other side, right up, take it right onto that right arm. Then lift up, right up that right arm, take it right onto the back of the chair if you can, bend the elbow right round the chair or just take it hold of the side of the chair if you need to. Turn right round, inhale, lift the crown of head up, exhale, take it hold of that leg to turn it right round, breathe up. Really good for your abdominals, really good for your strength. Try and keep the feet really grounded so that the feet and legs aren't coming around to the side as well. So turning right over that shoulder. Breathe in, breathe out. Really getting the belly button turned, really getting the upper body turned right round to the back wall. Breathe again, breathing out. Big deep breath in and out of the body. And then exhale, coming back round into the centre, coming right back. Hands down onto the knees again, just get nice and neutral here, get that spine nice and neutral after getting that stretch. Breathing and breathing out. Now this time we're going to take the feet slightly wider, taking them wider, as wide as the seat or wider than the seat if you can. And then we're just going to try and loosen out the lower back. So we're just going to take the hands down onto the knees, keep the hands onto the knees first and just try and keep the chest and the head lifted and coming forward, just stretching out the lower back. Just really just give that a wee stretch and try and lengthen the crown of head towards the front, taking the gaze down towards the ground and just loosening it all. <clears throat> breathing in, breathing out. Now if you're here and that's enough for you, but if you can, try and take the hands further down the shins. Hold on to the shins if that's enough. Or if you can, take it right down onto the ground. Really good. Try and drop the chest, drop the head, keep that length of the crown of the head. Breathing and breathing out. Try and keep the head in line with the spine for now. Breathing and breathing out. So really feeling it right into the lower sacrum, right into the lower back. Getting it all loosened out. Breathing and breathing out. 
Then deep breath in and out of the body, keeping those feet nice and grounded. And then inhale, coming back up again, really good, coming right up the legs, taking the hands on to the knees, lift the chest right up. Really lifting the sternum, really lift it right up towards the ceiling, crow the head right up, get that stretch into the abdomen. Breathing in, breathing out. Really good. And then exhale, we're coming right down again, but get the lift in the front body first. Coming forward, we're coming right down the same thing. Right down, stretching the lower back. Really opening it up, trying to get that chest down a bit lower this time. Really good. Press it right down. This time, just pressing the right hand right in underneath where your face is. And then lift up on the left hand, stretching right under it. Really open it up. The lower shaker right into that SI joint. Breathing in, breathing out. Pressing the hand in. Try and really get that opening on the chest. Breathe in, breathe out. Inhale, exhale. And exhale, drop the hand down. Just stay in the neutral position for the minute. Just rest it out. Pressing the feet and the hands onto the ground, feeling a nice wee loosening out of the lower back. Inhaling and exhaling. Now, if you're not getting right down onto the ground, you could use your book, you could use your block, take it down so that you're down just halfway or whatever, try and get the hand grounded onto something. And then if you can, lift up in that left leg, left arm, breathe up, breathe up. Really stretch it, or right arm coming right up, sorry. Right up, really stretch it right up, opening up the heart. Turn the chest round. Every time you take a wee second breath, breathe in, breathe out. Try to take it up a wee bit more every breath you take. Inhale, exhale. And then exhale, drop it down nice and easy, really good. Get your breath at the bottom. And then inhale, coming right back up this time, taking the arms right up to the ceiling, really work with your core right up the up. Lengthen the fingertips right up towards the ceiling, take the gaze in between the hands. Inhale, exhale, big, 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 deep breath. Lengthen in the spine, stretching the arms. And then exhale, drop the arms down wide again, really good. Roll the shoulders, nice and loosened out, really good. Now this time, if you have a wee uh, towel, just a wee small towel, we're going to do a wee bit of action with the legs now. We've done the shoulders, done the upper body. So I want you to walk the sitting bones out to the edge of the seat if you can, or near enough, halfway, halfway in would be better to get that support. And then this time we're going to take the, the, the towel right round the right foot and then see how straight you can get the leg. So see how straight you can get it out. So just take it out to where you're at, wherever you're at. Do it to your limit. And then if you can, stretch it right out straight. Really good. Stretch the arms, stretch the legs. Lift in the chest. And really feeling that starting to work those hamstrings. Really good. So just try and keep it level with the seat if you can. Breathe in, breathe out. Inhale and then exhale. Hold it on there. Really lengthen that leg out, opening out those hamstrings. Feeling that stretching. So you want to really make sure that you're working the hip strong muscles at the top of the leg. Pull the kneecap up the top of the leg. Open up the back of the leg. Work on the flexibility, work on your mobility of those legs. Pull the toe up towards your face. Lift in the chest, engage in your core. Breathe it in, breathe it out. And then exhale, bend the knee, coming right down again, really good. Drop it right down, get that foot nice and grounded onto the ground. Take it up on that left knee, really good, stretch it out. Now, if you're bent up like this, that's okay, stay there, if that's where you're at. Then eventually then, you'll be straightening it out, see how straight you can get it. And then drop it down level with the hip. Lift the chest, lift the heart, try not round the back, try and keep that chest lifted. Breathing in, breathing out, feeling it, really opening up that hamstring, really feeling that stretch into this, the leg. Breathing in, breathing out. Big breath into the body, big breath out. Feeling it opening up that spine as well, lifting the chest. Sitting those sit bones onto, the, onto the, the seat so that you're really feeling it firm. Breathing in, breathing out. And then exhale, nice, we bend into the leg again, coming right down, taking the towel off once more. Shake out the legs, give them a shake, that's them hamstrings getting woke, woke up. So this time we're going to do a wee bit the hip as well, really good. So take the leg right out, see how straight you can get it, see how high you can lift up the chest, crown the head up towards the ceiling. This time take it both sides of the towel with the one hand, other hand onto the leg, and see if you can take the leg right out to the side. Oh yeah, work these hips. Take it right out, try and keep it level with the seat. 
hand over the other, be really just give a wee stabilizer and let the upper body right up. Breathe in, breathe out. Now work the back, work that leg, really stretch it right out, do what you can do. If you're away here somewhere, you're still working the hip, you're working the thigh, if that leg isn't straight, that's okay. But try and straighten it out as much as you can. You want to feel it right under the leg, come to the hamstring. Breathing in, breathing out. Nicely soothe them, stretch here for the hamstrings. Work on those legs. Breathing in, breathing out. And then exhale back and the centre, nice and easy. Taking the, the towel off and taking it right onto that other leg. Really good. Stretch it right out. Lengthen the leg right out as much as you can. Straighten it out as much as you can. Take it hold of the both, both ends of the towel with that left arm. Breathe it in, breathe it out. Inhale. Hand on to the knee. Keep that knee nice and level. You don't want that knee flaring away out to the side. Try and keep it level. Inhale. Lift the chest. Engage your belly. Exhale, coming right out to the side again. Really good. Stretch the groin, stretch the inner thighs. Breathe in, breathe out. Really good. So we have to be grateful that we're able to do these things, we're able to move the body. Even just that wee bit of movement, even if you're only taking it out to the side slightly, it's really good. Oh, I'm handy here, I have a wee thing to lie on here at the side. <laughs> so really good. Lift in the chest, lift in the heart, and feeling that you're stretching it all out. So hope you are all doing good. That's weather's awful today. Absolutely. Back the winter again, it was so beautiful yesterday too. I was outside all day yesterday, it was gorgeous. Lovely heat. Stretching away in the back of the leg, pulling the toe up towards your face, pushing the heat away. Breathe it in, breathe it out. And then inhale, back up in the centre, coming right back down. Just drop that foot right down onto the ground. Give the arms a wee, a wee loosening out, the hands a wee loosening out, so you've got a pressure on the arms as well, and the upper shoulder, really good. So that's good, taking the, the towel out to the side this time. Just going to link the fingers, put it right in behind the knee, to make sure that you're out nice and far from the chair, and then taking that knee right under the chest, just taking it in. Other foot right onto the ground, lift the chest right up, just stretching under those hips. Breathing in, breathing out, getting that opening under the hips, working the hips there and out. Breathing in, breathing out. And then exhale, dropping it down, inhale, other side, lift it right up, pull that knee right under the chest, try and flex the toe right up towards the ceiling to work under the back of the Achilles and the back of the calf as well. So you're really just giving this body an MOT, that's all you're doing, giving it a wee MOT, getting all these joints all working, giving them space again, all good for the body to get that movement under the body and get that movement back and flexibility back. And exhale, drop it down nice and easy. Stretch it right down, press the feet under the ground. Stay where you are in the seat, lift in the chest, lift in the heart. Breathing in, breathing out. Really good. Now this time we're going to take hold of the back of the seat if we can. Keeping the feet, walk the feet slightly further forward. And now we're really going to pull that chest apart. Taking the gaze forward, taking the head up. Breathe in, breathe out. Really feeling that stretch right into the upper body once more. Inhale and exhale. Pull the shoulder blades in together, feel that the shoulder blades are really nearly touching together. Breathe in, breathe out. And then exhale, coming back again, really good. Now this time, ankle right underneath the knee in that right foot. Other leg coming right up, see if you can take the foot right onto the knee. Just as if you're crossing your legs, wee bones, no bodies. So take the toe up towards the knee, really pulling that up towards the knee so that you're really flexing under the back of the leg. Taking the hand onto the inner thigh, lengthen the front body and taking the chest down towards the knee. Now just wherever you're at, if this is as far as you're going, that's okay. If you can take it right down, really good. Stretch it all out. Breathe in, breathe out. Now really work on that hip. Really work on the glute. Breathe in, breathe out. Now maybe you might need to take the hand onto the seat to hold onto the seat. Come down a wee bit further. Breathe in, breathe out. Inhale, exhale. Maybe take it onto both sides of the seat. Come down a wee bit further. Breathe in, breathe out. Do what you can do, but making sure that toe is pointed up towards the knee to protect the knee joint. Really work on the hip, really work on the thigh. Breathe in, breathe out. Inhale, exhale. And inhale, back up, really big tight. Stretch under the hip there, pressing that left foot under the ground, lift up the right, take it right onto the knee, get it nice and secure onto the knee first. Pull the toe up towards the knee, really good. Lifting it right up, just coming forward. Just nice and easy. Take the chest towards the knee as best you can. Just do what you can do. If this is as far as you're going, that's as far as you're at. Breathe in, breathe out. As long as you're feeling the stretch, as long as you're feeling it working. Then take the hand down onto the chair if you can. Other hand, and drop the chest down further if you can. Pull the toe up towards the knee. Stretch it under that hip. 
really working under that pad. So this is a modification of um, pigeon pose, it's called pigeon and yoga. So really feeling that you're stretching right under the outer hip, really good for the mobility of the hips, keeping the hips working, keeping that flow of blood in and around the hips, keeping the fluids, really keeping that hip working. Breathing and breathing out, dropping it down even further if you can. Breathing and breathing out. And inhale back up at the centre, coming right back up, really good. Taking the feet wider than the chair now and just dropping the knees in together, work, dropping the inner feet up the line, just working the inner rotation of the hips now after working the outer rotation, just feeling that you're really stretching and just soothing it out a wee bit after doing that big deep stretch, big, big deep stretch it is. Lifting it right up, breathing and breathing it. And then inhale, come back up at the centre, walking the, uh, taking the buttocks right back onto the back of the chair again, making sure the lower back is really secure onto the chair. And try and make sure that the lower back, mid back, upper back is all up against the back of the chair. Try and keep the upper body right. Really press the hands down onto the side of the chair to really lengthen the spine. You open up the back after those few forward bends that you've done, just to lift it right up into your dandasana position. Breathing in, breathing out. And then this time we're going to lift up the right arm again, stretch it right up. And then drop the left hand right down beside the chair and come right over to the side. But keep that back onto the chair. Really keep it glued to the chair. Try not to fold down. Keep it right up. Lift it right under the side body. Breathing and breathing out. Really feeling that you're stretching right up there. Really opening up the heart. Inhale and then exhale. Take the gaze up. And underneath the arm, stretch the side body. Breathing in, breathing out. And then inhale back up again. Use the chair to get you back up at the centre if you need it. Drop the hand down, take a roll of the shoulders. Really feeling that right under the side body, right under the obliques there. And then lift up from the left arm, stretch it right up towards the ceiling. Just let the other hand fall heavy, fall down. And take it right down to the side of the ground. Really good. Keep the chest open to the sky, keep the back up against the wall. Really keep that posture of the body, keep that big stretch into the side body. Big breath in, big breath out. Inhale, exhale, keep the feet grounded. Keep the legs strong. Inhale, exhale. And inhale, back up at the centre, coming right back up, drop the hands down. Drop the hands down onto your knees, just Feeling just a wee relax here, just rest it out, close the eyes, close off the mind. Breathe and breathe out. And then inhale this time, we're going to come right up on the standing right away, coming up onto your feet. Really good, stretch it right up, really good. So this time we're going to warm up the legs, we've done the hips, we've done the thighs, we're going to warm up the legs a wee bit, I'm going to turn the seat to the side slightly. And we're coming away from the seat. <coughs> we're going to keep the feet up on the part, keep the knees back from, and we're coming right down onto the seat just to touch, and we're coming right back up again. Really warm up these thighs, warm up the knees. But lift the arms right up if you can. Lift it up, lift the chest up. Inhale, exhale, bend the knees, keep them right back, drop down onto the seat, and coming up for 10. 9, 8, really warm up these legs. 7, drop the bum down. 6, Five, four, three, good for the knees, two, and one. Oh yeah, shake it out, just shake out those arms, shake out the legs, shake out the arms, breathe in and breathe it out. So that's really good for the knees, to work the strength under the knees and keep the blood flowing in around, really good. So this time we're going to turn towards the seat, we're going to stand back from the seat this time, we're really going to stand back from the seat. And we're going to just take a wee forward bend. So nice and easy, nothing too much. Take the hands down onto the seat of the chair and try and make sure that the ankles is right underneath the knee. Just dropping the hands down, just keeping the head strong, keeping the head facing forward, just stretching the spine. So we try and get away from the rounded back. We're trying to lift the buttock bones right up towards the ceiling, pressing the hands onto the mat. Just lengthen the crown of the head towards the seat. Breathing in, breathing out. Just stay in here, nice and easy. So try and make sure those ankles are right underneath the knees. The hands are onto the seat, just dropping it down. So it's sort of a modified down dog at this stage. Breathing in, breathing out. 
and then in here, walk on the feet a wee bit further forward, so the hands, the wrists is right underneath the shoulders. Really good. The hips are really in underneath the uh, the hips are above the ankles, and really keep the feet top of the part. Lift it right up, really good. Just lift in the chest, lift in the heart, try and keep that spine long. Now this time, we're going to take the chin under the chest and take the tailbone down towards the heels and really round that back. Really feeling that you're rounding the back. Breathing in, breathing out. Stretching those shoulder blades apart. And give them a big stretch earlier, and now we're giving them another stretch. Breathing in, breathing out. And then inhale this time, we're going to take the tailbone right up towards the ceiling. We're going to take the crown of head right up towards the ceiling. And really try and arch the back in a different direction. Really good. Lift in the crown of head up, lift in the tailbone, try and lift those tailbone, the tailbone right up towards the ceiling. Breathe in, breathe out. Holding it here. And then exhale, coming right back down again, really rounding that back, pressing the hands and the feet into the ground, really feeling those shoulder blades pulling apart. Breathe in, breathe out. So you're lifting the belly button right up towards the ceiling, really pulling on that belly. Inhale, exhale. And then inhale, coming back up again. So it's like cat and cow. It's like a wee cat in the morning, getting a big stretch of the spine, really working the spine. So it's the most natural thing in the world to get this loosening out of the spine, get that stretch into the body, keeping it all good, working hard enough. The buttock bones right up, up the crown of the head right up. Breathing in, breathing out. Good stuff. And exhale back into neutral again. Really good. Just stretching the spine. Just keep it in nice and neutral. Really engaging your core. Press the hands up to the mat or onto the, the seat. And then inhale, coming back up again. Really good. Lift it up. Lift and roll the shoulders. Give them a nice wee roll out again. Breathing in, breathing out. Shake your arms, shake the legs. Really good. And then coming right back down again, taking the hands down. Try and get the wrists right underneath the shoulders again. So you're coming slightly forward, pressing the feet under the ground. Breathing in, breathing out. And then this time we're going to lift up on the right leg. Stretching the right leg right up and back. Stretch it right up. Try and get it nice and straight, like you had with the towel. Really straighten it right out as best you can. If you have a slight bend on the knees, that's okay. But try and stretch it up. Try and get your balance onto that left leg. Breathing in, breathing out. Nice and easy, stretch it right out, right back, really engaging your core, breathe in, breathe out, and then exhale, drop it down, right down onto the ground. Other leg, coming right up, warrior three leg, lift it right up, stretching right up, right back with the leg, really feeling that heel, coming back, really locking out the arms, really lifting the chest, really engaging your core, breathing in, breathing out, inhale and exhale. Holding it right up, really lifting that leg right back. Inhaling and exhale. And then exhale, drop that foot down. Inhale, come back up with the center, lift the arms right up, stretch them right up to the ceiling. Really feeling that stretch into the spine, really lengthen out the arms. And then exhale, drop the hands down onto the ground. Really good, stretch it right out. Now this time we're going to bend up on the right leg, we're going to take the sole of the foot onto the foot, onto the stool, uh, seat if you can. And then if you can, straighten out the leg again. Really good. So big straight leg again, right into that hamstring. Make sure the front body is facing the seat. Lift it up in the arms once more, stretch it right up. And then exhale, drop the hands down onto the back of the seat. Oh yeah, feel that back of the leg really working. Feel the hip. So you want to keep the lower back nice and level. Really stretching right into it. Breathing in, breathing out. Just feeling the backs of the hamstrings really working. Feeling the legs strong. Work on the hips, work on the thighs, work on the hamstring. Now if you can, if it's available to you, take the hands down to each side of the foot, tuck the fingers in the hands, drop the palms of hands down if you can, and lengthen the front body right over the top of the leg if you can. Breathe in, breathe out. Do what you can do. Keep the hands onto the back of the seat if that's enough for you. Breathe in, breathe out. Really work on these hamstrings, really work on these hips. And inhale, take the hands onto the back of the chair again. Coming right back up, hands onto the waist. Take the foot right down, other side, take it right out, take the foot right out nice and straight if you can, start off, take it, make sure the front body is facing the chair, everything in line, lift up at the arms, stretch it right up, exhale, fold it forward right down onto the back of the chair, really open up the back of the leg, pull the toe up towards your face, really stretching it right down, try and get the ears in line with the arms if you can, really making sure that that 
standing leg is straight to the wall or the seat, breathe in, breathe out. Inhale, exhale, nice big stretch into the lower back and the hamstring. And then if you can, drop the hamstring onto the, onto the seat. If you want to keep them on the back of the seat, that's okay. Inhale, big breath in, drop the upper body right over the top of the leg as best you can. Stretch those hamstrings, stretch, get that flexibility back. Breathe in, feel that stretch, feel the pain. It's good pain, not bad pain. Good stuff. Inhale, exhale, that'll improve your flexibility, improve your mobility, it'll improve your, your way of life. You'll be able to get moving about more, keeping everything working in order. And then inhale, hands onto the back of the, uh, the chair again. Bring it down. See if you can come right up. Take the hands onto the waist. And take that leg right down. Stretch it out. Oh, these legs are going to be sore. You're going to have to. You're going to be walking like John Wayne today. In your bodies. So this time, going to lift up on the right leg. Right leg coming right up onto the seat. And this time I want you to take the right foot to the left side of the seat. Okay? Right foot, left side of the seat. Take the hands down onto the back of the chair and see if you can drop the knee to the chair. Nice and easy. Really good. Take it nice and easy. Really good. We're doing the hips again. Really good. Dropping the front body forward down towards the back of the leg, or back of the chair. Really good. Now if you can, take the hands down onto the seat and see if you can walk the back leg a wee bit further back. Oh yeah. Breathe in. Breathe out. Now we're working the hips. Inhale, exhale. So now we're in the pigeon pose again, really working that thigh, working the hip, working right in there. So you do what you can do, hold on as tight as you can, breathe in, breathe out. Stretch it right in there. And then inhale, taking the hands over the back of the chair, walk the back foot in a wee bit, coming right up onto that knee, really good, and then step it right off again. Other leg, coming right up, take it onto the, the uh, seat, take it right over to the right side of the chair, Hope you can all see me all right there. Really, I turn up right a wee bit there. A little bit better. Right onto the chair. Really good. And then, if you can, drop the knee down onto the chair. Really good. Keep the front body facing the chair. Walk the back leg a wee bit further back. Lift the chest. Lift the heart. Stay there if that's enough for you. Breathe in, breathe out. If you can, drop the hands down onto the seat. Lift the chest. Lift the heart. Breathe in, breathe out. Really work on the hips. Really work on the thighs. Really get that flexibility back. Inhale, exhale, and then coming out of it again, press the hands on to the back of the chair, take the leg right up, coming right up, nice and easy, right on to the knee, coming back up again, really good, stretching it right out, give it up, and then that's a nice stretching out, really good, shake them out, give them a nice wee shake it out, get that stretch, get that mobility in the hips, it's really, really good for the legs, really good, so we're going to come on now, we're coming on to what's called Trikonasana, all right, so we're going to keep the foot just in front of the chair to walk the uh, right leg right back take it right back straight leg at the front straight leg at the back lengthen in the arms right out to the side really good inhale exhale come on right out to the side drop the hand out onto the chair and lift the arm right up towards the ceiling breathe it in breathe it up really lifting the arm right up taking the gaze up towards the top hand if you can breathe it in breathe it up now, this is enough for you to stay here, stay here, or if you can, take the hand down the leg, take it right down on the shin, and open up the chest. Trikonasana, triangle pose, really feeling that stretch into the side body again. We warmed it up earlier, now we're getting a nice wee stretch, really good. Breathing in, breathe out. And then inhale, taking the hand onto the chair again, coming back up again, right up, really good. And then turning right around, turn the other side, taking the toe. The foot right in towards the chair, back foot turning up, front heel, back heel in line, lengthen in the arms right out, inhale, exhale, coming right out to the side, drop the hand down onto the chair, lift the arm right up, breathe in, breathe out, hold it here, try and get that big stretch, shoulder over shoulder, hand over hand, if you can, take the hand out onto the shin, take it further down onto the ground, breathe in, breathe it out. So you get down nice and deep, these hips are nice and warmed up. Legs and hamstrings are nice and warmed up. Breathe in, breathe out. Inhale, exhale. And inhale, back up at the centre, coming right back up. Really good. Coming back in the centre again, shake the legs, shake the arms. Give it a listening out, really good. Shaking it all out. Now this time, coming away from the chair a wee bit further, taking that right leg right back. 
This time we're going to be bending the front knee, coming right down onto that front knee, taking that leg right back, lengthen the arms right out. Nice wee easy one here. Down deep with that bent leg, stretching the arms right out, breathing in, breathing out. Inhale, exhale. Really good. Bend it right out, keeping the knee right over the top of the shin, keeping the strong accent in the upper body. Lift the chest, lift the, the head. Breathing in. Two more breaths here. Inhale and exhale. And inhale, straighten up the front leg. Step or take the other foot out a wee bit. Coming back up. And then turning to the other side. Really good. Turning the other side. I'm just going to do it this side. Yeah, really good. So don't face the camera. Turn it right in. Inhale, exhale. This time we're bending the right leg. Really good. Inhale, exhale. Bend that right leg. Really good. Drop it right down. Lift the chest. Lift the heart. Lock out the back leg. Nice strong straight back leg. Breathe in. Breathe out. Lifting those arms up level with the shoulders. Really feeling that upper body strength. Breathing in. Breathing out. Oh, that one is really bad. That is really blowing everywhere. Inhale and exhale. And inhale back up at the centre. Turn the feet forward. Take the hands down onto the waist. Shake those shoulders. Those shoulders are heavy in the day after all that work. We did step the feet down. How about we rest? Breathe in, breathe out. Really good. Rest it all out. This time we're going to go a wee bit deeper on it. So we're going to feel it. So this time I want you to take the foot in underneath the front of the chair. Or, uh, the toes just on underneath the front of the chair. So that when you bend the knee, that the knee comes right down against the front of the chair. Really good. So this time we lift it up with the arms. Coming right up. Really good. And then exhale. Take the hand down onto the seat. Keep a deep bend on that knee. And lengthen the other arm right up and over the ear. Really stretching under the back leg. So if you have a straight line from the top hand to the back foot, breathe in. So this is powers back and asana. Really work with the side body. Really work on that back leg. Breathe in, breathe it out. Inhale, exhale. Now if you can, see if you can take the elbow right down onto the seat and lengthen it up even more. Take the gaze up towards the top hand. Breathe in, breathe out. Just holding on to the seat. Really press that elbow right down and get right into your powers back and asana. Breathe in, breathe out. Inhale, exhale, and inhale, push the seat away, coming right up, really good, straightening out the legs, inhale and then exhale, and then coming right down, drop the hands down, coming right round to the other side, breathing and breathing out, so bend it up, or taking the legs nice and wide again, I'm going to go the other side, and I'm going to go fully under the pose, inhale, lengthen the arms right up, really good, exhale, bend the knee, get that knee right down, so the knee is right in against the chair, if you're using the chair, inhale, Exhale. This time, we're going to come right out to the side, and I'm going to drop it down onto the ground, but you drop your elbow onto the seat. Lengthen the arm right up, stretch it right out. If you can get down to the ground, you do it too. Breathe in, breathe out. Taking the gaze up towards the upper arm, and really keeping that chest open to the scalp. Hards back and us. That's why we warmed up those wee hips earlier, to get down nice and deep. Really stretch into the spine. Inhale, exhale. So good for the body. Work on that spine, work on the heart, really get the heart working. And then inhale, pushing away in that foot to get you right back up again, really stretching it right up. And then turn the feet forward, hands onto the waist, take the feet down together. Stretching it all out, breathing in, breathing out. Really good. Now give it the wee rest, give the shoulders wee rest, give the hands a wee rest. Rest it all out, breathe in, breathe out. Really good. I'm getting a wee message there from somebody, I think. Something flashing on my screen, what is it? What are we doing? Uh, good to see you, Richard Rosa is there. Good stuff. <laughs> That's good. Can't see anybody else on my screen, but oh Donna's there, good. Mar Marguerite. Oh, good stuff. You are all at it. Good stuff. I hope you are all doing well. Keep on at it. Very good. Shake the arms, give them a nice wee shake out, shake the legs, give them a nice wee shake out too. Just feeling it nice and loosened out. Really good. So, another few wee standing poses now, and then we're, we're nearly finished with that. So this time we're going to stand right up against the seat, so making sure that you're right up against it. Really good. Now taking the hands down onto the seat, really try and keep the legs nice and strong. And this time we're going to take the hands down the side of the chair, and really take it down as much as you can. If you can, take the head, just the side of the head down onto the chair. Nice and easy, just resting it down. Try and keep those legs nice and strong and straight. Try and keep them right up there. Just working on your Uttanasana forward bend. Nice, easy stretch. Under the backs of the legs, under the glutes. 
Breathe in and breathe in out. So you may be away up here somewhere with the hands onto the chair, that's okay. If you can, get them right down the leg of the chair, drop it right down if you can. Breathe in, breathe out. And inhale them to come up again, press the hands onto the chair, coming right back up. Nice wee stretch into the back body. Lift it right up, roll the shoulder blades down the back. Breathe in, breathe out. So this time we're going to come right down again, but we're going to turn the neck and head to the other side. Really good. So lift it up, sort of bend in from the crease at the top of your thigh. Lengthen forward with the front body first. Come right down, take the hands onto the seat. Turn the neck and head in the opposite direction. Drop the head down onto the chair. Now you want to feel it right up the back of the legs. You want to feel it in the hamstrings. You want to feel it in the glutes. Take the hands down the chair if you can, down the legs of the chair. Even if it's just halfway down. If you can take it right down to the ground, even better. Breathe in, breathe out. Inhale in and exhale. Just feeling the upper body, just resting onto the seat of the chair. Feeling that you're the body bones right up towards the ceiling. And feeling that you're pressing the feet under the ground to activate the legs. Breathe in, breathe out. And inhale back up again. Hands onto the seat to push you back up. Really good. So you've done all your warriors, you've done or you've done warrior three, you've done warrior two. Now we're going to do warrior three. Last we one stand and then we're going to get a nice long relaxation, nice knee relaxing pose. Okay, so taking uh, the right foot right back, standing stand back from the chair, taking the right foot back, right back, turning right round towards the chair, hands on to the waist. Really lift it right up, breathing and breathing out. Now this time we're going to bend the front knee, coming right down nice and deep. Really good, press the right arm. Now inhale, drop the hands down by your side, and then lift the arms right up towards the ceiling, right into your warrior one. Breathing in, breathing out. Now if you find that too much, I can't do that on my own. I'm going to give you a wee help on hand. This time, stand at the front of the chair, drop the foot down to the side, drop that down, take the back leg right back, Lift the arms right up, nice and easy one. Breathe in, breathe out. I'm just too good, knees. Lengthen that back leg away, sit the buttock down onto the leg, onto the chair, and get the nice wee stretch into that hump front leg. Really press the right down. Lift the chest, lift the heart. Breathe in, breathe out. Really good. Lift it right up, really stretch that back leg right back. Breathe in and breathe it out. And then exhale, drop it down, coming right back up again, press the foot under the ground. Can you see? I can't really see that you can see my legs there. Can you? Uh, I mean, no, more or less. Okay, so we're going to do the other side. So that time we had the left up on, now we go the right up. So really, taking the foot. So we'll do it. Do it on the seat first, okay? So stand sitting right with that one buttock onto the seat. Take hold of the back of the chair, take that back leg right back, really getting right back under it. So try and get that big stretch into the front of the sofa. Press the foot under the ground, get it nice and grounded. Inhale, lift the arms right up. Stretch the spine, stretch the front body. Lengthen into that core. Breathe out, breathe out. Lock out the back leg, push the toe down under the ground. Stretch it right out. Breathe out, breathe out. Inhale, exhale. Two more breaths. And exhale, drop the hands down on the, the seat. If you're doing the original version, the perfect version, you just come up with the other, coming right up, really good. So you've done that anyway, it's warrior one, warrior two. So now, we're sitting down onto the chair again, sitting right down, just sitting on it, pressing it right down. We're not even going to go down onto the, 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 the mat today, we'll just stay off the mat today and give you a nice wee relax on the ground. So, getting nice and easy, Press the feet, press the sitting bones under the ground, press the feet under the ground, keep the knees up with the part. Lift, roll the shoulder blades down the back, sit the right up. Now just close the eyes, now focus on the breath. Feeling that you're completely resting the body after all that work. So you've worked the whole of the body. You've given the body a whole MOT now. You've worked all the joints. You've worked the hips, the thighs, the shoulders, the abdomen, the arms, the legs. Everything's been worked. Breathe in, breathe out, just relax the face completely, close the eyes and just focus on your breath. Just try and silence the mind, 
silence at all. Try and lengthen the breath, try and relax, behave completely. Maybe you're ready, just open the eyes, come forward. This time just taking the arms up, just taking hold of the elbows, just take a wee twist to the side, just loosen out that lower back, turning the neck and head and the chest right round with the elbows. Just to loosen it all out after all that hard work that you did. And then exhale, dropping the hands down onto the knees again. Thank you very much for joining me. I hope you all have a great day. Although that weather's not the best. Great to see you. Hope to see you next week again. Thanks for joining me. Namaste. Thank you.